Okay, so here's how to set up the GPS in the Tesla 172 SP on X Plane 10 Mobile. So, first you need to select your destination airport. Which is KTCM. Once you have that, you need to enter it on the uh, GPS using the small button for the letters and the big button to change where you're putting in the letters. Okay, turn right zero seven zero, and we're showing, uh, we're slowing through uh, two fifty. What do you need? Okay, then you press on enter to enter it, and then you press on select departure. We are departing from KSEA, and then you press on the random one. And we're departing from runway one six left, and you put on. Random one, I don't know what it is, and then you press it on one six left, scrolling with the small button, entering with the enter button. Then you press on select approach, I or E, and then you find which runway you're going on to. So for us, that is a uh, two six left, so we're going IOS one six, sorry. IOS 1.6 and vectors, you press on, on enter to enter it and then you go on to VNAV and target altitude, that is how high, that's your cruising altitude so for this it's going to be 10,000 feet or flight level 100 and target position, this is 10 nautical miles so 10 nautical miles before our destination, we are going to start our descent and vertical speed profile, which is your how high you're going to climb for this is going to be 500 feet per minute. And then you set that, you want to set your OBS to GPS, and then you need to set the flaps to 10 degrees, transponder on, Fuel pump on, mixture in, and then turn, make sure the parking brake is on, and then turn the key, engine key starter, and to start, and then let it go once you hear the blade spinning at a high pitched noise. Then you should start, turn off the fuel pump, make sure all the lights are to their on position. And then bring up the throttle, let go of the parking brake, and then you are rolling. Making sure to use the rudder to make sure you're going, you're staying in the center of the runway. And then once you hit 70 knots, you rotate. That is your rotation speed. And then you pause it, then you need to make sure that your vertical speed is set to the 0.5, which means that it's 500 feet per minute. Okay, so you go down into the autopilot panel, and you press on the AP button to activate autopilot, and then you press on the NAV button to follow your OBS. That's why you change your OBS source to GPS. And then you press on the VS and button, that controls your vertical speed, and then you use the right, the far right knob to uh, bring it so that it says plus 0 0.5, which is 500 feet per minute. And then on the GPS to change your zoom, you press on the RNG button with the up arrow and the down arrow, and to filter out all the mess, you press on the CLR button.
And then now that you've got NAV enabled, uh, it will follow your GPS. So if you go off course, it will automatically set you back onto the right course.